你再跌啦，咁想問點樣評估成個立法工作對香港經濟嘅影響？係咪評估過會唔會引發新一波移民潮？第二條問題就係想問翻警方會唔會批准類似零三年反對廿三條嘅遊行咧？唔該。啊，我講過啦，任何經濟活動咧都必須有一個安全同埋穩定嘅環境嘅，不安全同埋不穩定。只會對經濟有壞影響，例如打緊仗嘅地方，你唔會投資；啊，有衝突嘅地方，對於經濟發展一定係負面影響。所以有香港國安法同埋我哋而家打算去立法嘅第二十三條嘅一條新嘅條例，正正就係幫助我哋嘅營商環境。確保我哋香港有一個安全同埋穩健嘅情況，係等任何嘅人都可以喺呢度好自由咁去發展佢經濟活動。股票市場個波動，大家都知道啊，有好多因素嘅啊，包括啊利息係咪高企啊，包括啊整個全球經濟有冇風險，有冇壓力。我哋嘅供應鏈有冇被阻礙，以及喺啊全球有冇一啲戰爭或者衝突，令到啊大家緊張，亦都有涉及啊不同地方佢嘅內在因素。咁所以啊，股票市場嘅波動咧，亦都啊大家知道都。係有不同嘅因素所影響，但係如果冇咗安全同埋穩定嘅環境，無論咩乜嘢嘅正面因素，都係虛假嘅，都係空中樓閣嚟嘅，都係喺浮沙上邊建立嘅一啲啊假象嚟嘅。所以有安全同埋穩定嘅環境，對經濟發展必然有利。啊，我相信啊。冇一個人會可以反對呢個道理嘅。第二，人嘅流向必然亦都係針對安全同埋穩定嘅地方嘅。咁例如我哋睇到有啲地方不幸有戰役嘅，你睇到當地嘅人民都係惡向住一啲佢哋認為安全穩定嘅地方流,流,流向嘅。所以香港有安全穩定嘅地方。有安全穩定嘅環境，我會相信都係讓所有人向住香港流向一個正面嘅啊一個重要元素嘅。另外有關雲遊行示威啊，強調咗多次又多次，香港市民合法享有嘅自由同埋權利，而家享有緊，將來。繼續享有喺《基本法》、喺我哋嘅《香港國安法》，以及喺剛才所講兩個國際公約，即係《公民及政治權利國際公約》、我哋嘅《經濟、社會同埋文化嘅權利嘅國際公約》，都講好曬，講得好清楚，我哋啲自由同埋權利嘅標準。任何案件喺法庭審理嘅時候，當然都一定要確保呢啲標準係符合嘅。所以呢一方面嘅任何公眾活動，都會按住我哋香港嘅法例去進行。但係喺行使任何權利同埋自由嘅時候，必須要守法。所以我哋會全面保障市民喺香港享有嘅合法權益，無論你。係參與公眾活動又好，從事任何行業都好，啊，我哋係會保障你依法享有嘅自由同埋權利嘅。多謝大家。今日記者會到呢度結束，多謝大家。法咧亦都見到其實個諮詢期比起啊，即係零三年立法嘅時候係。
點解會有呢個考慮咧？即係會唔會俾外界覺得只係一個即係走過場嘅形式咧？誒，第二頭先嘅特首亦都有點樣提到可能英美一啲嘅情報嘅機關部門單位咧，即係例如今次立法入邊官方機密嘅條例入邊都可能仍然有一啲即係所謂敵人啊等等嘅概念。誒，政府今次立法或者未來即係會唔會都試可能例如英美嘅政府即係作為一個敵人嘅概念咧？唔該。誒，我哋嘅諮詢期。嘅設計咧係適合嘅，因為剛才我係誒強調咗啊，我哋係第一諮詢文件咧係好詳細咁介紹咗政府嘅建議，係會幫到市民咧喺呢方面認識問題，幫到佢哋提供意見嘅。我哋係明確指出咗香港面臨乜嘢國家安全風險，咁佢哋咪容易明白啲咯。政府嘅詳細考慮同埋分析，仲講埋咧係不同國家嘅法律。咁等誒市民咧更加容易嘅。另外咧，啊社會普遍對於二十三條立法係有共識，我哋亦都相信呢一個共識係盡快將二十三條立法嘅工作做好完成，早一日得一日。而且香港係經歷咗二零一九年嘅港版顏色革命同埋黑暴。大家都體會到、明白到國家安全係真係需要維護佢嘅重要性，同埋明白到國家安全風險嘅真實性，亦都係突如其來可能發生嘅。頭先我都講地緣政治複雜，任何嘅啊國家安全嘅一啲啊敵對行為咧啊可以係隨時出現嘅，所以呢一個短板。我哋早一日填咗佢，就早一日少風險。所以我哋去考慮誒設定諮詢嘅時間咧，係適合嘅。當然啦，我哋今次係會有大量嘅誒講解工作，所以我哋整體嘅諮詢工作係認真嘅。啊，亦都係一定要確保啊市民啊佢提供嘅意見。我哋會全部都係啊充分考慮。我哋喺啊收到市民嘅意見之後咧，當然會全面去審視邊一啲意見咧，我哋係應該係採納；邊一意見咧係適用於我哋真真正正確保啊可以處理到我哋現在或者未來嘅國家安全風險，而且啊亦都可以幫助我哋去。補翻我哋嘅短板或者不足，咁呢啲好在乎係意見啊，俾我哋嘅時候咧，有冇一啲係喺我哋啊開頭嘅想法係冇包含到，而我哋係要啊考慮咗呢一啲有用嘅意見之後咧，係啊涵蓋喺埋我哋嘅啊立法內容裏邊咧，呢個當然係要睇啊諮詢之後，我哋收集到嘅意見啊，佢一啲內容嘅。誒而家其實誒我都係要求咧，我哋嘅同事咧係開始啊啊草擬啊誒我哋嘅法律噶啦誒咁我希望咧啊盡快啊向大家去交代下最後我哋收集到嘅意見內容嘅，我哋都希望咧盡快可以完成曬整個立法工作，呢個當然係包括政府嘅諮詢工作。草擬啊條例，同埋提交俾立法會審議，亦都需要立法會喺審議嘅時候啊，希望佢哋亦都會可可以盡快審議完畢，盡早去填補我哋喺呢方面嘅一啲啊漏洞同埋不足。咁呢個我相信社會嘅共識有㗎啦。啊，無論係政府，無論立法會，我相信咧都以早一日。完成我哋二十三立法工作，得一日，早一日，我哋早一日減少風險呢一個目標咧，去邁進嘅。至於我哋係誒維護國家安全咧，我哋唔係針對個別嘅國家嘅。其實咧，我哋係保護自己嘅啫。啊，任何嘅人或者國家唔針對我哋，唔製造我哋風險，我哋係好高興嘅。亦都應該添啊，因為我覺得世界咧應該係和平共處嘅，所以我唔希望人哋去犯我哋啦。我哋係
，但必須要保護好自己。當人真係犯我嘅時候咧，我哋有充分嘅一個法律基礎去處理佢嘅。所以我哋唔係針對個別國家，但係亦都要明白國家安全風險係複雜而且係真實，亦都係嚴峻嘅。啊，大家都睇到不同嘅地方啊，有不同嘅啊地緣啊環境衝突嘅。咁所以我哋係必須去盡早做。跟住或者一啲外國嘅組織啊，或者外國嘅政客咧，就本港嘅一啲判決或者法律去發一啲聲明，其實係咪就已經觸犯咗呢一個外國國呢個境外干預罪咧？咁同埋都想問翻就係關於嗰個諮詢同埋解説嗰方面，其實會唔會講下具體係透過一啲乜嘢嘅場合或者咩方式向國際嘅解説，向國際解説咧？同埋本港嗰個諮詢同埋。個解説名單會唔會都誒講下係啲咩？佢話會唔會又話包括埋一啲，譬如可能係冇議席嘅一啲誒民主派政黨咧？咁同埋都見到。多謝你嘅提問，好嘛？唔該你。好，唔該。誒，首先係任何人對政府誒有意見啊、批評啊，甚至可能係一啲好尖鋭嘅批評咧，呢、這個都係誒容許嘅。啊，我哋一向。啊，都係歡迎對政府啊有唔同嘅意見啊，負面嘅意見也好，啊正面嘅意見也好，我哋都係希望聽嘅。而事實上，大家都睇到啊，每日嘅報紙、每日嘅媒體咧，都對政府某一啲做法係有啊不同嘅聲音嘅。呢、這個一個重要嘅考慮，我希望大家去好清晰嘅啊。有好多時人都問。啊，其實嗰個標準係乜嘢咧？那個標準其實係清晰嘅。你有冇意圖？如果喺英文嘅法律字眼係 mens rea， 啊，你有冇意圖？你有冇一個啊咁嘅啊用心？啊、如果冇犯罪意圖咧，喺香港嘅法律制度咧係會受到法律保障嘅，你係冇問題嘅。所以。如果你對任何嘅意見發表，你係冇意圖去危害國家安全嘅，原則上呢啲都係喺法律裏面係容許嘅。咁所以係好清晰嘅、啊。我亦都聽過一個由德國商會啊嘅代表講，對於啊國家安全嘅法律點睇啊？佢話、啊：我都唔會有任何諗住危害國家安全嘅，所以佢對。啊！我哋任何嘅國家安全法律咧，都唔會有任何顧慮嘅。我諗好就係、是、呢個咁簡單嘅一個標準啊！有冇意圖？有冇意念？英文嚟講 ，mens rea 啊 ，with a view to，with the intention，with the aim to。咁呢啲咧，我相信咧都誒令大家咧更加明白。所以無論係本地或者外國嘅人提出任何意見。如果佢冇打算係危害我哋國家安全嘅咧，佢又唔需要有任何顧慮嘅。誒、呃，我哋對於啊今次我哋嘅諮詢嘅解讀工作咧嚇，你會係啊全面發揮嘅，我哋會係盡量做好嘅。咁當然我哋會係針對啊不同嘅誒，我哋認為係特別關注呢方面嘅一啲啊界別啦，我哋會對佢有講解誒嘅安排啦。我哋有啲會係用實體啦，有啲會用誒線上啦，因為我相信人數都多嘅，我哋都希望咧盡量接觸多啲人㗎。咁啊喺層面方面咧係會廣泛嘅。咁啊如果譬如誒對外國去解讀，咁我哋係會接受外國嘅訪問啦，外國全民嘅訪問啦。我亦都強調咗啦，我哋除咗政府官員咧，我相信咧香港好多誒。喺呢方面係有認識嘅，啊表示支持嘅，或者對條文啊呢方面嘅有睇法嘅咧，佢都樂意咧向啊外國嘅媒體咧去解讀嘅。咁所以我哋喺方面咧係會啊好全力啊，同埋啊好認真啊，好大量咁樣做嘅。多謝。誒，請下一位提問嘅記者，右手邊前排第一位女記者，第一位係。Yes. Uh, thank you. Good morning. Uh, questions from AFP. Um, Mr. Lee, uh, why now? Uh, why now is a good time to create another national security law for Hong Kong while we have seen uh, some 
not so positive effects of the existing national security law, particularly you said this new law may let Hong Kong to focus on economic developments um, as soon as possible, but what if the new security law backfire on economy? Uh, for uh, Mr. Lam, um, you said the new law would become an integral whole with the existing national security law. Does it mean the enforcement procedures will also follow the existing national security law, including like non-jury trials, which you can issue and certificate to enforce? For Mr. Tang, um, well, would, a, would a larger national uh, security police force be needed for or longer reporters. detention be enforced to, for the new law? Well, uh, you have exceeded your two questions, but I think uh, we will still try to answer your question, right? Well, first of all, why now? We can't wait. I've said it very clearly. We can't afford to wait. It's for 26 years we've been waiting. We shouldn't wait any longer. The threat to national security, they are real. We have experienced all these threats. We have suffered from them badly. We were all very heartbreaking. We still rem remember the pain, the sorrow. We don't want to go through that painful experience again. And geopolitical tension is rising. Then the threats are increasing. Many countries are regularly updating their security law to ensure that they will be able to deal with new threats, new methodologies. If you look at uh, the UK last year, they just updated and enacted a new security law. And I know Canada is already also doing consultation to try to strengthen their law as well. So why now? Because we've waited too long, 26 years, and we have suffered so badly, and we are not improving and strengthening our system as other countries, such as the UK, Canada, are doing. Shouldn't we really be doing this better to protect innocent people of Hong Kong, to protect innocent businessmen in Hong Kong, I think uh, they want me to do it to ensure that all these threats don't happen. They want me to do it so that we can create a stable and secure environment for all people to live in, to work in, and also to develop their business in. Well, there may be some negative comments about our law. This is obvious. National security law is to protect attacks by foreign forces, by foreign countries. Obviously, those countries who may have bad motive don't want you to be able to protect yourself that well. Of course, they will try to make your law weak so that they can find loophole to attack. Definitely, we have experienced it when we enacted and have the Hong Kong national security law implemented in Hong Kong, which I think the majority of Hong Kong have seen the very good result that we are now living normally. We are all now sitting here peacefully in the way we want to conduct our business. We don't want to repeat the pain, the bad experience that make us all lose our sleep. So bad mouthing, Political attacks will continue. That is exactly why I want the government to be up and in full gear to explain what we are doing here loud and clear, confidently and rightly. Tell the world we are just protecting ourselves from your attacks. Don't attack us. And also, I think eventually, when, when people see that this law will bring security and also stability, they will love it. You have also mentioned some, what you described as uh, 
negative impact on the Hong Kong as a result of the national security law. Uh, good, uh, good morning. Some English questions from the South China Morning Post. Um, the first question is, um, how open would the government be during the consultation process for Article 23? Uh, would the government fear that the legislation of Article 23 would spark more foreign scrutiny, sanctions, as well as protests as seen in 2019 and 2003, and potentially another immigration wave? Are there any measures to combat these potential scenarios by the government? And secondly, for the legislation, is the government inclined on having a clause to send suspects to the mainland for trial, would publicly opposing the bill also amount to violating Article 23 as well? And how would the government convince foreign NGOs and non-political groups that they can operate safely under this legislation? Thank you. Well, our whole consultation process will be open. We will be conducting different sections to explain our proposal. And we welcome wills, whether those wills relate to points we make in the consultation document or beyond. I think when you see the consultation document, it will tell you that we welcome any kind of information, any kind of opinions. Because our aim is to be able to compile uh, a, if an effective law so as to ensure that we can protect our national security comprehensively, including uh, the threats we think we are facing now and also potential threats that we may face in the future. Our legislation, of course, is subject to scrutiny by both Hong Kong people and, of course, uh, the international uh, people. We are confident we are proud and we stand high because the principles we adopt conforms with the international standard and we're doing it in exactly the same way as other countries are doing. I have mentioned and I want to repeat that we will be respecting and safeguarding the freedoms and rights lawfully enjoyed by the people of Hong Kong, by the organization in Hong Kong. And these standards are international standards, which is covered in the basic law, and also it complies with the standard set internationally, which is the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights and international covenants on economic, social, and cultural rights. So these are international standards, and these are the rights and freedoms which are actually being practiced in Hong Kong already. They will be. They will continue to be practiced in Hong Kong. Uh, the basic law actually specifies clearly in Article 27 about the protection of freedom of speech, of the press, of publication, freedom of association, of assembly, of procession, of demonstration. All these rights and freedoms as stipulated in basic law, Article 27, as specified in the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, in the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights, will all be respected and carried out in Hong Kong. And it will be recognized in the legislation we will be proposing. And of course, I have mentioned that while we, society as a whole, uh, looks calm and looks uh, very safe, we still have to watch out for potential sabotage, undercurrents that try to create troubles, particularly some of the independent Hong Kong ideas are still being embedded in some people's minds and some 
foreign agents may still be uh, active in Hong Kong. 